Robert Hellenius was a fifth round disqualification of Adam Kalnatsky. Hmm. Well, I had that fight. I had Robert Hellenius winning that fight. I said it was going to go the same way that it went the first time if Adam Kalnatsky doesn't shape up. And that's what was happening. Same thing. Uh, Robert Hellenius was piecing him up the whole fight. The first round, he fucking hurt Adam Kalnowski. He didn't show any real improvement. He still was going in there with his head. He he showed a little bit more of defensive awareness. I would say a speck. Maybe a speck. But for the most part, man, it was the same old Adam Kalnowski, bro. And Robert Hellenius, man, he got some good pop behind his punches. I think I had it going to think the knife round i forgot what i predicted which knock i had galenius knocking him out and he was gonna knock him out if it wasn't for kalnatsky man with all them low blows it was funny the last low blow he's like yo he, he's tall i'm like what do you mean he's tall man stop it bro you were trying to slow him down with them with them ball punches and, and look what happened and you still yo ass still got lost you still got the loss and you almost got knocked out Robert Hellenius is dope, too. He's another good heavyweight. Um, only thing with him, man, he needs to crouch down a little bit more. He's too tall to be fighting like that. He doesn't really duck his chin. Um, shit, man. I, I don't know how good his chin really is, either. It might be good. Not as good as Tyson Fury's and Wilder's, though. But um, Adam Kalnowski cracked him with some good shots in that first fight, but... I never really seen him really hurt hurt like that, you know, uh, Robert Hellenius. But um, Adam Kalnowski, bro, he's done. He's done, bro. He's done. He's one of them fighters now. You might as well say he's entering, put his ass in the pile of gatekeepers, because that's exactly. Um, I wouldn't even say gatekeeper, man. He's gonna be one of them fighters where. Fighters need to need some come up experience and need to move up the ranks. They're gonna use Adam Kalnowski as, as a punching bag. That's that's what's gonna be for him. That's that's all I can see from Adam Kalnowski. I don't see him ever having a heavyweight title. He is not fucking with none of the top five. Shit, man. I don't even, maybe a few of the top ten, maybe one or two of them. He can maybe beat. But I don't even know if he could beat any of them. He's done, bro. He, his, this is what I keep saying about boxers, bro. People that move around instead of just punching, standing there, being stationary. Their careers are going to be limited. It's but so much you can, you know, it, it's not the same, man. This is not like Foreman. Bro. George Foreman was probably one of those anomalies, bro. He probably was an exception to the rule. You know what I mean? But he, yeah, you, you got to do, you can't just to rely on just your your punches and you got to have some kind of style some kind of other tools in the toolbox absolutely you need defense and adam kalnowski is one of these dudes that use his head as a fucking as his, as defense and i said that's gonna catch up with him fighters like that they they have a, a time limit man and robert Hellenius was the one that punched adam kalnowski's clock just like Deontay Wild, Tyson Fury punched Deontay Wilder's clock. Those kind of fighters that rely on just power, their time is going to come eventually. You know, you got to have more to it than just that. Defense is very important. And Adam Karnowski doesn't have it. So he is going to get bumped down again. So he is, at this point, it's just safe to say, just take fights for the money. That's it, bro. You... you you're not gonna get up there and you, you, you're it'll take you a few years if anything to even learn and have defensive prowess programmed into your brain uh, it might not even happen some people just the way they are and they get by so far on all these fights they, they they get by with all these punching and they they get by all these years with all these other fighters and then they think that they can do that with everybody, but then they find out the hard way that you can't do that. You got to have more to it. This is boxing. It might work like that with some fighters, but when you start moving up into the ranks, the top dogs, that shit ain't working on them. And now, and, and look, Robert Hellenius, I, I don't even know what he's ranked at. 
he's not even in the top five. And he look look what he did to Adam Kalnaski. So come on, man. Really. But shout out to Robert Helena. He did his fucking thing, man. He did his thing. I'll catch you guys later, man. This is Rebel Life Boxing. Let me know what you thought about this fight. And I'm off this.